dreamed about the world as well And I believe it Feel could lighter. be Feel lighter. Someday it's gone to oh. It's out on the air to knock It rides a peace train Oh, peace train, take this country Come take me home right, again You're going to get Father Thomas Stewart But no, you're getting the Cat Stevens Look at mm -hmm. that Look at that. Amen. Oh, what more could you possibly want than Father Thomas Stewart and Cat Stevens? If Father Stewart, in in general, how are you doing with the uh, the dark leaning cloud? Um, you know, I answered Fred on that, uh, and it, it, it's a little bit the um, you know the the hue of the sky, but also too, I was thinking, you know, um, you know. For me, I think I've noticed, especially in these times, this is where prayer has helped. It's like I've had times where I've gotten really angry about you know things, and I stop and I pray about it, and I realize that that anger is coming out of you know a fear, especially. Mm -hmm. So I was just thinking of that cloud and the fire and, and a number of other things going on in our community in my life that um, caused me fear, which causes me to be angry and not see the connection between the two. And so that's that. Um, advantage of stepping back and bringing that to the Lord rather than um, you know, um, brooding. Uh, it's a tension-filled time. So any practicals? Yeah, uh, you know, and uh, this is something that uh, St. John Chrysostom points out. Uh, he points it out when it comes to having conflict with other people. But it applies, I think, to this, especially, um, it, it basically what he says is, Sometimes you have to remove yourself from a situation where you and another person are angry, and it's not out of hatred for that person. It's so you can both calm down. Uh, you can focus on other things and come back with a clearer mind and maybe a reoriented set of priorities. Simple as, oh, I, think I see things a little bit differently. Or like, yeah, I see what you're saying, but you know, some other aspect of this to me is also very important, which is why I can't go down that route with you. Um, Something very simple like that. And you know what? I have talked to people who did do stuff like that, and they lost friends. But I would say they probably never had them, right? Do you want to be friends with it? Like, is it a valuable relationship to hold on to somebody who, who just the fact that you disagree with them um, uh, means that they, they can't be around and Why does it have to end a friendship, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that, that's um, a disproportionate response, which means – you know, the, the problem is on them. As long as I very calmly, very politely, very, you know, matter of factly just, just stated that I'm a, I'm of a different opinion and made it clear I'm willing to discuss it. Here are my reasons. And it's a parable. And it's one that our Lord will use in today's gospel. Uh, and he speaks of Israel like a vineyard. And of course, God is the planter of the vine. Um, this, of course, refers to Christ. Christ is the um, um, the one who appropriates this image to himself. So when you think about that, just first off, the prophets as the friends of God, as the friends uh, of, of the incarnate Christ, and we as baptized, confirmed Catholics uh, are told to share in that prophecy, right? We're held accountable for choosing to say no, not because we couldn't do it on our own, but because God actually came to us and said, here's what you need to do to do it and do it perfectly. And then we, we still um, uh, choose not to. Um, and God works with us as we are, right? He providentially guides um, rocks and streams according to their own nature, animals, cows, dogs, whatever, according to their own nature, the cosmos according to it, and us according to our own nature, according to our nature, which has free will as a part of it. So I always remember that divine providence isn't working against our free will, but it's, it's the way in which God moves us without doing violence to our nature, which is our free will, which would, um, which violence would be done if he didn't give us, you know, the ability to choose to say yes or no. Because like Stephen, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. <clears throat> and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Jerome. Pray for us.
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. All right, come off mute. Tell Father you appreciate him, and uh, thank you all. Thank you, thank you. All right. We appreciate you, Father Stewart. Thank you. Thank you, Father Stewart.